Shape keys are a really useful tool for animation inside of Armour 3D. Let's go ahead and add a new shape key, a base one and then a deformation one. So we're going to deform this one and that is going to be just a flattened cube. Something really simple for demonstration purposes. You see when it's at zero it's a normal cube and when you slide it to one the shape key turns into the flattened shape we added in edit mode. Now let's go ahead and grab a mouse click button and that is going to activate our shape key so let's get the shape key we need to select the object and say which shape key we want to affect would be in shape key 1 in this scenario and now we have a value option so what we want to do is we want to animate this value so as you can see if I click we're going to directly jump into that but we want to do a smooth transition so we're going to use a tween node and we're going to uh, modify the value smoothly. I've made a whole video about the tween nodes and animations with them so you can go check that out. Essentially what we want to do is we want to set it from 0 to 1 because 1 is obviously the uh, modified animation, the flattened cube and we want to do this every tick and so it's every frame that this t tween is activated it's modifying the value and we can set whatever animation curve we want. We can change how the animation looks. Now we do have the possibility to obviously duplicate the whole thing and reverse it. So instead of just flattening and staying like that, we can reverse back to its original shape. So what we're going to do is we can plug this node tree into the done socket. And obviously with the reverse values, as in from 1 to 0 instead of from 0 to 1. So we're reversing the whole thing. And we can alternatively just set it to the output socket of the set object shape key, which essentially does the exact same thing. And now that this is ready, you can see it's reversing the animation when we click. It falls down and it comes back up. However, this happens instantaneously. What we want to do is we want to add a bit of a delay. So let's go ahead and set a timer node. And when the timer is done, it's going to start that new uh, reverse tween. And as you can see, it happens. It's a rather short time. So let's increase it to something like 5 seconds. And now when we play it again, everything is working perfectly fine. It waits about 5 seconds and then it pops back up. There's a lot of animations you can do with this, not just using tweens. There's a lot of really useful things. You can obviously modify different shape keys on the same object. Uh, an object can have hundreds of different shape keys that you can modify. So there's a lot of animation potential with shape keys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.